Hello YouTube, this is Tetris Inf here bringing you a, a quick um, breakdown of the official Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 weapon progression behind the scenes video. This is this was released on on the Call of Duty website um, on the 26th of October, but I only found out about it on um, my Facebook today. Right, let's get started. Right there, you saw the um, ACOG and the new UAV. It, lo it looks a bit, a bit like the GTA um, uh, mobile phone. So just pointing that out quick. Right, and on the screen right now, you can see a sentry gun. Well, you kind of knew that these were coming back, unless that this is the new uh, grenade launching sentry gun. I don't know the official name of that, but I know that it's going to be in there. And I think it's mentioned later in the video. Right, and then you saw um, right on the screen now. You see that the RPG is back. There's something strange down the cupboard. I just played it again and I just rewind the video a bit. Right, what, look in the kill video. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, here we can see the new ACR. I'm assuming that that's the ACR through the design of it. And then on the right, there's um, a little point streak thing, I think that it that, that is. And you can't see it on the screen now because of the way that I cut out the video and stuff. But um, he has a bouncing Betty down there, which looks a little bit different. It's more of a um, disc than it than the traditional circle and pin, and it looks like it looks like he's got some kind of a um, it looks like a sentry gun, but it, it does doesn't have the, the traditional sentry gun flag item. No sentry gun item. <laughs> Hold on, if I just rewind the video a bit there, and if you look just. Um, just underneath, just the bottom left of that 50 point sign, you can see the guy with the riot shield with the with the distinctive um, black band going across the middle. Obviously, that's gonna, obviously the riot shield's going to going to be coming back, and cool, and it's going to be the same titles and emblems and uh, ranks. Well, it looks like it's going to be the same titles, emblems, and ranks as Modern Warfare 2, as you can see down the bottom. <laughs> Another way that you can customize your gameplay in Model for 3 is by weapon proficiencies. We've basically given every weapon an experience bar. So now you're leveling your weapons as well as your player. Okay, so we already knew that, but I'm, I'm gonna um, play the gameplay. I'm gonna so now you're slow leveling. down the gameplay. Obviously, obviously there you can see the ACOG. It your looks like an AK-40. Whoa, actually no, it doesn't. Um, scratch that. It looks more. I think that I think that this is the new gun they're bringing in because the iron sights and that gun look good. Um, I think that I believe that's the new ACOG sight. It looks actually like the best recoil than the traditional ACOG sight. Plus, if you look at that on the right, it looks like he's building up a massive point streak there. Well, I'm assuming that's gonna be the point streak, it, and it's showing you how close he is to his kill streaks. So and I'm assuming if when, once you get that right away, up, you get your highest kill streak that, that you have set on. Weapons as well as your player. This is a um, semi-auto weapon, and care packages are back according to this. Plus, if you look on the right of no, just to the left of the highest point streak there, you can see what um, the new the brown new bouncing bay. And. And, and the map that we just saw also looked like Crash. We'll unlock all of your attachments. Right, I'm gonna pause it on here so we can see all of the new, um, all of the new and the and the old attachments. So he's using the Scar L with the Type 95 as the secondary. That's the um, weapon that pulls out kind of like the laptop did on um, Perfect Dark Zero. If you didn't know what that is, it's it, um, it, but it's kind of strange. It like unfolds the gun as he pulls it out. It's, it's, it's going to be a bit like um, when he when he pick up guns on Black Ops, he has to like tap it like once or something. Uh, just it's just part of the animation. He's an Overkill Pro and attachment on second primary. He's using Extreme Conditioning Pro, which is the, um, the same effect as Marathon Pro on um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And he's using Stalker Pro to lay detecting triggered explosives. So that would be Bouncing Betty's and Claymore's. 
Um, he's got a proficiency on both weapons, which I didn't know until when I was watching this video for the first time. I thought they could only have in the first one. The, the, the guy's got um, iron lungs, which enables you to hold your breath longer on um, the skyle, which I don't really understand. And I'm not sure what, what, the, what the proficiency on the um, Type 95 is. If you look on the um, attachments, basically, um, you can do the, you can have the red dot sight. We know what that is. The silencer. Uh, likewise, the grenade launcher. Really wish that that wasn't bad, but, but we're gonna have to deal with it. The heartbeat sensor, um, baby monitor. We know what that is. The hybrid sight. I'm not sure what that is. If I let, let the video play, he might um, hover over it. So I'm, I'll do that in a second. Had lucky doesn't ho hover over the hybrid sight. I, I don't know if that's um, on purpose or not, but I'm assuming it's gonna be like the reflex sight. I'm not too sure. It could be like the holographic sight. Um, I'm not. I don't know. The shotgun. I think that's gonna be like the master key. Hologra oh, the holographic sight. Sorry, scratch the holo oh, scratch what I said about the holographic sight and the hybrid sight. That hybrid sight now makes me think about the um, it was probably the reflex extended mags for that way is in thermal. It's always one of the lesser cho um, chosen uh, detachments for assault rifles. Right, maybe not attachments. Anymore. Your camos. Right here, here are all the new camos. We got we got classic snow, multicam, digital urban, hex. I'm assuming hex is going to be like digital. Choco, obviously brown. Um, snake, uh, um, and I think that's going to be like a greenish colour. Blue, red, autumn, and gold. Yes, gold is back, people. And if you didn't already know, gold, you can get gold on whatever level of the prestige. Um, you can be first AE and still be able to get all the gold guns. It's, which I think is, which in my opinion wasn't the best choice because I like being, I like, I like to have to work for the gold guns. Maybe they could have like unlock gold guns at eighth prestige instead of um, ninth. Uh, but I think that we should be able to work for them instead of just getting them on the first level of prestige. That's a new thing that we've added called. Right, here are the proficiencies. You've got kick, impact, impact is on that, type 95, which I said I didn't know. Both carry more damage through materials, so that's basically hardened. Kick, reduced recoil, attachments, I obviously had attachments, focus. It, it might play Weapon proficiencies. It. No, it doesn't. Um, the, the, other, the other thing we saw there was um, focus, breath and stability. I'm assuming stability is a bit like breath except instead of um, swaying around a little bit, no, swaying around a lot, it'll reduce the sniper sway instead of just completely focusing it. Proficiency. Right. There we saw a, um, I don't know if that was a new assault rifle or not. It looks a bit strange really. Um, obviously you can see the guy's rank, that guy's level 80. It, it, it looks, it look, oh, that must be the gun from the start of the um, video when I stopped it and I showed you that um, gun that we found on the floor it that, that big gas canister underneath um, well it looks like a gas canister could be a gas op operator gun I'm not sure um, so obviously it's not a noob tube like, um, like I first thought he's got a predator missile as his point streak and a red dot sight on that thing it looks pretty beast I mean it, it does it looks like one of those gun it looks like a power weapon of zombies or something because it's just the way that it's set out but, oh yeah, by the way, by the looks of that mammoth guy, panic knifing his back. Proficiency. P90 is back. And, uh, just because it's me, I'd have to point this out. Look, look what rank the guy who kills is. 69! Wink nudge. This allows you to get better with your weapon of choice through practice with that weapon, and the weapon itself gets better. Weapon proficiencies are enhancements to your weapon that are geared towards a certain placement. So, for instance, I can unlock reduce. Um, on that ACOG side, just a, just a quick note, we had a different reticle to what we saw on the previous ACOG side, so maybe it's customizable just like a Black Ops. Kick. And now when my weapon kicks, it's going to kick less. And maybe that stabilization on fire. Um, if you didn't already, if you don't um, have a. Less. And maybe that. Heart attack because of this guy. It looks like he had painkiller or something, or juggernaut. Well, it is juggernaut. It's just, it's just not the traditional COD four version. Basically, this guy's unlocked the, the twelve. I think it's nine or twelve kill streak that makes you the juggernaut. When you get, um, it, it depends on if you're using support, offense, or something else. Kill streaks. I forgot the other one. Um, and one of them is one of the benefits is a juggernaut, and one of them you get a riot shield and support. In offense, you get some kind of beast weapon, beast mode. So don't think that this guy is going to be like, like, unbeatable and everyone's going to spawn off with his super perk now. Stabilization on firing is what makes me a better player. There are a variety of proficiencies like reduce kick, reduce sway, and there are some that are actually unique to each class. So right, um, that focus by the way, the ones that we didn't see earlier, was um, called 
Um, its effect was reduce flinch when hit. For instance, the assault class has an ability to hold breath similar to the sniper class. The SMG class has the ability to melee faster. The LMG. That is very annoying for me because I hate being panic knifed. <laughs> Obviously, sit reps back, um, but sit rep can can detect sentries now. If you look on the left there, and I think that's a um, ballistic vest. That guy's got the care package. If you don't know what that is, you might want to search it. Up. E class has the ability to run faster. If you want less sway, you can earn. It. You want two attachments, you can earn. It. You want less kick, go earn. It. Proficiency. That's the model eighteen eighty seven. If you if you didn't have um, modern warfare two and that. P90 custom, it must just mean P90 bling, P90 warlord. Um, it must just be the thingy, like the level tag for it in this game. And obviously, he's got his flash. He got flash Proficiencies are great because I may have a favorite weapon, but that weapon may not be the perfect weapon for every map. With proficiencies, I can customize that weapon a little bit more and actually it into a different play styles that allow me to use it in different maps. We have brand new weapons across all the categories. You've got... That's the new Juby weapon that I thought obviously is some machine gun. We just saw a bit of gameplay of it just here. Um, that's the iron sights. The iron sights look pretty good. It's got, it has minimal recoil as you saw there. And it looks like a decent gun. Obviously, we can't really tell from now on, but with it could be like the Spectre, but with low recoil uh, and a high fire rate, you never know. Across all the categories, you've got an SMG called the PP90M1, one of my personal favorites. You've got the FAD or the Fat Assault Rifle. That looks um, a. That's the weird weapon that I was brand new. That I was think I was talking about. There's the guy with the pimpy earrings and the blonde hair. To Modern Warfare 3, you've got the Bouncing Betty, a brand new... There was the Bouncing Betty, I'm going to rewind that a little bit, as you can see. Warfare 3. Uh, that, that's the old C4 record of um, Modern you've Warfare You've got the Bouncing Betty, a brand new frag grenade type, the XM25, a new launcher. Damn it, a new launcher. One of the new things we've added is the EMP grenade. So this is similar to like your flash grenade or your concussion grenade. But what it I think that's going to be the new um, concussion grenade because it throws fast and it does more than a regular stun. It does is it takes out electronic equipment in the area. Another new piece of equipment that we've added that I think people will really like is the trophy system. The trophy system is a portable turret that is an anti-grenade, anti-RPG system that you can use to defend a point. Damn it, another launcher. With all the new ways to level and all the new equipment, weapon proficiencies, we really have given the player the tools to make Call of Duty play the way they want to. This game is full of new weapons for players. It's super exciting. Rifles are customizable by the looks of that because if you if you rewind the video like I will for you guys now, it, it just all new weapons for players. It's just super exciting. Just concentrate on the radicals. Right, there's one, it looks like, um, for um, our pointing arrows, um, highlighting the target in the center. And that one is the same. 